Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me, Chris Agnelli. Uh, in this one we're going to take a look at Rex files and converting those to Apple Loops. Uh, if you have a bunch of Rex files on your hard drive and stuff, it's kind of easy to, to convert these to Apple Loops to a more native format, uh, meaning that you can flick through them easier. If you have a bunch of Rex files, as you know, you can't kind of play them from your Finder window or search them or tag them. So, yeah, bring them in uh, to the Arrange page. Uh, Logic can handle Rex files quite well. It can handle them in the track area or uh, via EXS24. And we can then convert those to Apple Loops and we can tag them and just make them easier to search and stuff. So let's go to Finder and get a Rex file. And I've got one highlighted here. It's just from our main room house pack. So just drag and drop. And we're presented with this creator box. And now we get a dialog box. So what does it do? Slices my overlap. How should logic fix this? If you're exporting from Recycle, if you've used it, you know you can have a stretch function on each slice. So you can slightly stretch each slice. So when we slow the loop down, we don't have gaps in between each slice uh, because the samples will be playing back at normal speed, but the tempo will be slower. So logic needs to know how to handle these slightly longer uh, slices we can do a thing called don't fix and that'll just bring each slice in as it is and when the next audio file or slice comes in it will supersede the previous uh, slice and play that so it'll still play back normally and you'll still slow it down or we can have cross fades between them we can add tracks, so it'll add audio 1, audio 2, audio 3, etc. Uh, we can render it all out into a single file, or this is the quick one, we can render it into an Apple loop. So we can just bring the Rex file in, in and render it immediately to an Apple loop, and then it's in our loop browser. I kind of don't want to do that just yet, but that's the quick way to bring in a Rex file and hit that button, render the Apple loop, and boom, it does it. I'm going to hit don't fix, because perhaps we have this loop. And let's open it up because it's, it's in a folder. And you can see these uh, stretch slices here. You can see that they're playing underneath. That is, if we slow the tempo down, you know, we're just now at 92 getting gaps. Uh, at normal speed, I think this is probably 128. Uh, that's the reason for extending the slices. So let's play this at 128. But say we want to chop things up and, you know, move things about. And we want to... You know, chop this hat up a little bit. Uh, there is no easy way now to convert this to an Apple Loop. So what we need to do is in 9 used to have the Apple Loop utility. What we need to do now is to join, render this into a single new continuous audio file. So there's our audio, uh, edited uh, Rex file. And then we can convert or add this loop to the library. So we can go to uh, edit main room house loop we can have it looping so it always conforms to the song tempo don't need to worry about scale genre it's electronic it's beats it's cheerful it's electric it's groovy and it's single and that's not processed and we hit create and now that is converted, converting. Takes a little time for it to go over. Oh. Takes a little time for it to go over to uh, the loop. So if we go to our Apple Loops and it'll insert it into my Loops, and there we go. There's the. If we delete that, we can now drag and drop our edited Apple Loop. 
So, guys, there you go. That's how you can bring Rex files in, convert them quickly to Apple Loops, or edit them, uh, join them into a continuous audio file, and then add those to your loop library. So, hope you enjoy, and speak to you all very soon.